वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ कस्टमर लेजर वेब एप बाई यूजिंग दिस वेब एप यू कैन क्रिएट अ लेजर फॉर योर कस्टमर सो हेयर यू कैन सी इन दस्टमर नेम आर ड्रॉप डाउन विद लोकल फिल्टर फंक्शनैलिटी ओके सो हेयर आई कैन सर्च Uh, for example, if I want to search a person, a shop name start with two, I just enter two. So you can see here the shop two is come here. So first of all, I am going to check the ledger for the uh, for this person Ramiz, and you can see when I select the customer name from the drop down, the customer number automatically comes here. So it is a read only. So how this comes? So uh, we I will tell you later in this video. so here you can see the ledger for this customer so uh, the balance is now right now 1530 so if you want to add a transaction for this customer you just click on add transaction when you click on the add transaction here you can see the 1530 rupees for this customer is the latest balance in the database okay so here you just uh, select the date for example today is 3 so you just select the 3 and the transaction type is the credit or the debit what is credit credit uh, is to add amount in your bank account debit is to deduct amount from your bank account okay so i am going to credit so here i am i i want to credit 1500 rupees so here you can enter your bank account also you can add drop down you can uh, as you can request us to add drop down okay in the comments below okay so here i am just enter the online transfer so i just click on the add when i click on the add and you can see here the customer ledger entry is successfully in our database is added so you can see here so here when i uh, refresh this uh, for example when i refresh this the customer so you can see the data is come here okay so again if you if you select any other customer for example the avas so you can see no transactions found for this customer uh, uh, it will say no transactions found for this customer uh, you just click on the add transactions and select the date uh, like two and the uh, credit and the amount is like 15000 rupees and here you can enter the online transfer okay so here you can enter the online transfer and when you click on the add the data is successfully added for this customer you can see here and again if you select any other customer for example the valid uh, here also no transactions found for this customer so now uh, let's move on uh, the functionality for this web app so here you can see in our google sheet we have two sheets one for the customers and the second for the ledger or the for in customers in a column we add the customer name and customer shop name whatever you want to give here and here you can enter the customer number or customer shop number whatever you want to give so what exactly mean these two columns in the whole database in the whole web app this plays very crucial part in our web app you can see here a customer name and the customer number so whenever you add a entry whenever you add a transaction or check a uh, uh, ledger of the customer these two fields plays very important role how how so when you come in the ledger so you can see here the customer name and the customer number so from the customer sheets you can see the drop down comes here when you select the ramis so you can see that number is automatically comes here and you, when you click on the close so you can see the ledger of this customer also you can print this ledger from here okay so you can see the ledger of this customer from here so how this comes how this actually comes when you select the customer name the customer number automatically comes because sometimes we don't remember the customer because this is a system you can search a, a, a ledger of the, your customers by using customer name and by using customer number both of them so i just enter a read only it will automatically comes okay so whenever you search it will comes here match your customer name and match your customer number for 
for example if your customer name is Ramiz and you and your customer number is not exactly like this so uh, it will uh, it will also filter that one also okay so here you can see I will not show but the data exactly match for this customer name and customer uh, number I will show here uh, I will just hide the uh, hide these two columns in our uh, ledger table here and I just show the data from the here okay so here so you can see this is our customer ledger web app how to install this web app on your end it is a very simple our tutorial for installing any kind of google sheet in your end the link is in the description you can also check but one thing remember when you receive this video uh, uh this uh, this google sheet link uh you will see when you open the link you will see this kind of interference so you just click on make a copy of a google sheet is copied in your google drive and you can just go to your extensions click on the app script and you can change your sheet ids and click on the deploy so your web app is completely ready for your use so you can create a customer ledger and you can uh, add our records and you can add records of your customer transactions easily so you don't forget uh, in the future so which date your customers paid you so thank you very much we are working on very hardly on some amazing projects soon you will see that one also okay sir take care